I've spent the, the last 25 years of my career uh, studying the relationship between mechanics and injury in runners. And the first half of that time, I was trying to understand what mechanics are related to which injuries. We started to develop these um, retraining programs to alter the way that people run. If you look at mechanics, you can kind of classify into two different areas. Impacts and alignment, or loading and alignment. And you can have a really well aligned limb and have high loading and that still can cause a problem on your musculoskeletal system. You can have a really malaligned limb with low loading, but because it's malaligned, you can have problems, it puts abnormal loads to the musculoskeletal system. And if you have both, so high impacting and malalignments, it's like the double whammy. So, you know, I would really like to be able to have someone be able to put a couple of devices on and be able to get information fed back to them with regards to how hard they're landing or perhaps how they're aligned, how they're malaligned. It would be great if that could be stored on a chip. It'd be great if that information could be fed back to a coach, a physical therapist, a physician, so that they can also see how their patient, how their athlete is functioning out in the field. We have uh, made advancements in things like tracking heart rate and those kinds of things, but I think that what we're going to see here in the very near future is the ability to track the movement patterns, your body mechanics while you're out in the field, and to give people real-time feedback. It's um, going to be the next frontier in terms of taking what we've learned in the clinics, in the laboratories, out into the field. And I think that the ecological validity of that, those kinds of studies, is much greater than doing something in a, in a laboratory where people know they're being observed. They're on their best behavior. We want to measure people when they're out in the wild. We actually have a collaboration with West Point uh, University uh, looking at providing real-time feedback on how hard people are landing um, and being able to, to give people that feedback and through mobile devices and they can be reminded, okay, you're starting to hit hard, hit softer. Um, and we're, we're monitoring people and looking at how well they do over time. So that's, that's one application of this. There's another project that's very exciting to us in which we're using these IMUs, these inertial measurement units. Um, we're putting them on 300 runners in the Boston Marathon. And we're going to be measuring their impacts all the way through the race, all the way through 26.2 miles. So you do 1,000 foot strikes per mile. We're going to be looking at 26,000 foot strikes. We're going to be able to look at how impacts change from the beginning to the end of the race. So with fatigue, we're going to be able to look at how impacts vary depending on the kind of footwear people use, uh, the kind of foot strike they have, perhaps the ability of the runner, the sex of the runner, and also how that's linked perhaps to a history of running injuries. So these IMUs are really just amazing. They're very small, they're very simple, and they're very powerful. The last thing that I can say about these IMUs, like any technology, it's going to get smaller and smaller and faster and faster and better and better. So the, the, I think we can't even imagine the things that we can measure today um, in five years from now may seem obsolete because the technology is only going to get better. So I'm really excited to see where this mobile technology goes in the future.